Drop the idea of becoming someone because you are already a masterpiece. You cannot be improved in matters outside of creation. You only have to embrace your own self to know it and to realize that all of God's gifts are already inside you. So use them. The greatest fear in the world is the opinion of others. And the moment you are unafraid of the crowd, you're no longer a sheep. You become a lion. After that, a great roar arises in your heart. The roar of freedom. Each person comes into this world with a specific destiny and has something to fulfill, some message that he has to be delivered, or some work which has to be completed. You are not here accidentally, you are here meaningfully. There is a purpose behind your existence. The whole universe intends to do something through you. The past is no more and the future is not yet. Both are unnecessarily moving in directions which don't exist. One used to exist but no longer is, and the other has not even started to take form. The only right person is the one who lives moment to moment, and with these you will find peace. Find ecstasy within yourself, it is not out there, it is in your innermost flowering. The one you are looking for is you. Nobody has the power to take two steps together. You can take only one step at a time. Never try to rush things or you will ruin them. Be patient with yourself. What is meant for you to experience, it will come on your path anyway. Let life unfold for you all of its gifts, not the other way around, when you force gifts just to have a life. Your whole idea about yourself is borrowed. Discover yourself otherwise, you have to depend on other people's opinions who don't even know themselves. You will come closer and closer to perfection, but you will never be perfect. Perfection is not the way of existence, only growth is. When I say be creative, I don't mean that you should all go and become great painters and poets. I simply mean to let your life become a wonderful painting and let your soul be a poem. I would like you to start loving yourself because unless you do that, you cannot love anybody else. You don't know what love is if you have not loved yourself first. If you really want peace on earth, first create peace in your heart, in your being. That is the right place to begin with. And then spread. Love is the goal and life is the journey. Take hold of your own life. See that the whole existence is celebrating. These trees are not as serious as they seem. These birds are not serious either. The rivers and the oceans are wild. And everywhere you look, you will encounter fun. Everywhere there is joy and delight. But you have to pick where your eyes are pointing. Just watch existence, listen to it and become part of it. Millions of people are suffering. They want to be loved, but they don't know how to love. And the pure feeling, it cannot exist as a monologue. It is a dialogue and a very harmonious one. If you love a flower, don't pick it up. Because if you do pick it up, it dies and it ceases to be what you loved at the start. So, if you love it, just let it be. Love 
is not about possession. Love is about appreciation. The capacity to be alone is the capacity to love. It may look paradoxical to you, but it's not. It is an existential truth that only those people who are capable of being alone are capable of love, of sharing, and going into the deepest core of another person. Without possessing the other, without becoming dependent, without reducing the other person to a thing, and without becoming addicted to the other. If you love a person, you will not interfere with his personal life. You would not dare to break the boundaries of his inner world. Sadness gives depth. Happiness gives height. In the same time, sadness gives roots and happiness gives branches. You have to look at happiness like a tree going into the sky and sadness like the roots going down into the womb of the earth. Both are needed and the higher a tree goes, the deeper it reaches simultaneously. In fact, it is always in proportion. That's the balance of life. The real question is not whether life exists after death. The real question is whether you are alive before death. Tomorrow never comes. It is always today. I live my life based on two simple principles. One, I live every day as if today was my last day on earth. And two, I live today as if I'm going to live forever. The visible part of the soul is known as the body, and the invisible part of the body is called the soul. God and the world are not two separate entities. There is absolutely no conflict between God and nature. Nature is the visible, which is the gross aspect of God, and God is the invisible and represents the subtle aspect of nature. Be realistic and plan for a miracle. Always remember, if you can be anything in life, be a stoic. Support with a like and subscribe for more stoic empowerment.